Hey there, I'm gonna make some adjustments real fast. As you can tell, I have done a little bit of a chain of change of scenery because, well, every time we're up in the loft, I keep mentioning about all the lovely trees behind my house. There is an ax throwing target over here. I decided to do it outside. My dog may whine, so she may end up coming out in a moment. Give me just a sec while I get this camera adjusted to where you can see me. I think you guys can see me pretty well from here. Hopefully it's not too windy. It's going to be coming on and off, which also may make some of these arm balances a little more fun or a little more interesting for me. Chill out for just a sec. All right. So we're going to start to class as we typically would, just kind of a comfortable seat. As you can see, I did not bring any of my props out with, with me today. I did not have the foresight to do that. However, if you have a block, bolster, rolled up towels, a book, anything that you would want to use as a prop, a towel, blanket, scarf, whatever, you're welcome to keep that nearby. I did not grab one. Um, this practice is going to be geared toward building us up for what's called baby grasshopper. It is one of my favorite arm balances to teach because it does require a good amount of strength. But it is an arm balance does, that doesn't have you so high off the ground to where that freak out can happen. I'm going to be squinting a lot. I did not grab my sunglasses. Again, I didn't think the sun would be hitting just over my house. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. So, comfortable seat, you can grab that block, put your hips on a block, you can go legs out stretched, whatever feels better for you today. And we're just going to think about breathing, and that's going to be my offering for you today. Meaning, learning how to breathe through difficult stuff. Sometimes when you're feeling overwhelmed, you can almost, you can kind of start backing off of what would be a panic attack by controlling your breathing, by thinking full, deep, nourishing breaths, closing your eyes, shutting out some of that extra stimulus going on around you, and just kind of bringing yourself back to center. So I'm going to try and make my breathing or cue breathing as much as possible through this practice. If that is not something you want your practice to be about today, it's yours. You do with it what you will. You can do a positive mantra of I am strong, I am present, I am surviving. It can also be a positive word, something you're trying to cultivate within yourself. Maybe patience. We need a lot of that nowadays. Well, we need a lot of it, period. But patience or understanding. Understanding that this is difficult for a lot of people practice or what's going on around them. Is your practice dedicated to what you want? If you don't want to dedicate it, that's fine. You're just here to move. That can be, that is enough. So wherever you're at, I want you to close your eyes, get kind of comfortable, let some of those fidgets out, let go a little bit with the neck. I just got some really good neck pops out of that. So I like to pop my neck. You don't have to. You can close your eyes and just start to breathe. Since I'm sitting outside, I'm enjoying that sun on my skin. Maybe you have a really nice fan going and it's keeping you nice and cool. Maybe you have some lovely music playing in the background. I didn't want to play music just in case the wind got too much. Focusing for an inhale for a count of six. Feeling your chest get big, belly fill. And on your exhale, shoulders relax down, hips relax down to the mat. We're going to inhale again. Slight pause at the top. Exhale, sigh it out. 
allow yourself to settle. Again, taking whatever fidgets you need to, to just get yourself settled. Feel your hip bones press down to the mat. Feel your legs supported. Arms are supported. They can be down by your side. They can be resting on your lap. Oh, this is going to get real warm real quick. On your inhale, we're going to go for a big reach up overhead, just getting nice and tall. On your exhale, we're going to twist towards the right. Nice little gentle twist. Most of us may, may have been at a desk already today. Gaze can slowly start to turn as you twist deeper. It's wherever it's comfortable for you. Inhaling, getting big and tall. Exhaling, twisting that little bit deeper. On your next inhale, we're going to untwist, intertwine your fingers together, press your palms to the ceiling. Just get a nice big stretch, maybe getting that up into the forearms. On your exhale, we're going to twist towards the left. You can say hi to a little buggy friend that just tried to crawl on me. And again, lifting up nice and tall through that inhale, twisting a little deeper on your exhale. Few more breaths, just twisting a little bit deeper if you can. On your inhale, we're gonna unwind, press those palms up to the sky. Nice tall. Exhale, allow the shoulders to relax down. So we're gonna go ahead and just move straight on into tabletop here. Tabletop. Oh, this is gonna get real warm. Knees are gonna stack underneath your hip sockets, wrists. Under elbows, under shoulders, allowing that belly to drop down, down tailbone point up, gaze go up. Exhale, press through the mat, curling that spine in. Maybe getting a little deeper, coming up onto those fingertips. Oh, that's fine. Now start incorporating any movements that feel good. So maybe giving some hip circles. Oh, this is quite a bit more. Or making that nice little C with your spine. Just any movement that feels good here. You're gonna move into puppy dog pose. So your knees are gonna stay stacked underneath your hips. Hands walk out in front of you, chest sinks down here. Going for a nice stretch in that upper back. Walk your hands to the right, push your rib cage to the left, get a side body stretch here. Switch direction when you're ready. Hands walk over to the left. The page pushes to the right. We're going to come back into that tabletop. 
We're going to move through sun A. So I'm going to talk through it a little bit as I walk through, walk us through it. Purpose is kind of get you a little warm, get your heart rate up, help get your body moving. So we'll move through sun A three, maybe four times, depending on how I'm feeling. If you want more, you always take more. If you want less, do a little bit less. So we're going to move into down dog here. Toes are going to curl under hips. We'll lift chest, pushes back, legs straighten. I'm going to take five breaths here. Pedal up your feet if you want to. On your exhale, coming into that nice high plank, drop your knees, lower your chest between your hands and chin. You look a little bit like an inchworm here, pull through, it's baby cobra. So very little weight in the hands, just a light pull up of the chest. I'm gonna curl the toes under, push back, tabletop, into down dog. Gaze is going to come between your fingertips, step, walk, jump, get your feet to the top of the mat. Deep forward fold here, so I'm bending my knees a little so my chest can get more on my thighs. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Inhale, halfway lift. Hi, little grasshopper. Exhale, fold. And inhale, root to rise, head comes up last. Big full body stretch up overhead. Hands through to heart center. Into that strong mountain. Shake it out here if you need to. Make any readjustments. We're gonna move through this. We're gonna go three more times, a little bit more fast paced. I'm gonna call the movement, but I will not call the breath. So, reach up, forward fold, halfway lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, forward fold, halfway lift. Forward fold, arms up overhead, heart center, mountain. Two more times. Now you can add a little bit of variety. I'm gonna add a little bit of variety to my chaturanga, turning it into a three leg variation. Three leg, I mean two hands and a foot. Big reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold, chaturanga, down, up dog, down dog, forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold, full rise, heart center, mountain. One more time through. Big reach up, forward fold, halfway lift, fold, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, gaze forward, forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold, all reach up overhead, nice strong mountain. I'm gonna wiggle it out a little bit here, pop those hips if you need to. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Hi Willow. My dog is staring at me very forlorn. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of a flow to get more into the, sh get the shoulders open, to get a little bit more twisty, because we're gonna need to get more twisty in in order to get that position feeling a little more comfortable for your baby grasshopper. So, 
So, hands are going to come to heart. We're going to reach up overhead, big full body stretch. On your exhale, chair pose. Your feet can be together here or hips width distance apart. That pelvis is tucked under. Quads are strong, hips are sunk back. Hands are together here. A few more breaths. On your inhale, we are gonna twist, hooking the right elbow to your left ankle. If you're like me and you got some stuff out of stuff in the way, you might need to adjust. We're going for a chair twist. Three more breaths here. I'm gonna keep the weight in that left foot, right foot slides back. We're in a high lunge twist here. Right hand is gonna come down to the inside of that left foot. Big reach up, left foot steps back. We're going side plank here, holding for five breaths. Flex those toes towards your face. Really think about opening up and squeezing that butt, pressing through that right hand, getting as tall as you possibly can. Pivoting forward, option to flow through. So moving through your chaturanga, into your up dog, back into down dog. Five even breaths here, catch your breath. We're gonna bend those knees, step, jump, hop, or float your feet, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, immediately into chair. Hands can reach up overhead or stay at your heart. I'm gonna stay at my heart today. Just row to 5K, my quads are on fire right now. Two more breaths. We're gonna twist, hooking that left elbow to the right leg. I'm gonna pivot so you can see a little better. Boom. Big lift up on that inhale, exhale. We're gonna twist, hooking. I like to get myself a little more situated. Five breaths here. Ooh. Quads are starting to cramp like mine do. You might need to readjust. Keep the weight in that right foot. Left foot slides back. And that twisted lunge. Five more breaths here. Keep it tight. Dogs barking. Two more. I'm gonna go for that side, twisted side lunge, boom. So a little breath to get yourself set up. Hands and weight is in that left hand. Right foot slides back. Side plank. Press through that left hand, squeeze that butt. More breaths. We're gonna come all the way onto our belly. So lowering all the way down onto your stomach. I'm gonna adjust a little so you can see me better. We're gonna go twisted cross. We've done this variation before. Left hand is gonna stay in underneath your left shoulder. Right arm is gonna make a right angle. Roll over that right shoulder. We're staying here for about six to eight breaths. Four more for me, I'm going for eight here.
unwind, leg come over first, all the way onto your belly, switch sides, right hand comes in, left arm goes out long, roll over that left shoulder. Six, eight breaths. I have four more. Unwinding and all the way back onto our bellies. It's going to push up getting a little bit higher of a cobra, not so much of a baby, but not quite going into that down dog. My quads, I'm gonna pivot so you can see, and so I'm not on the grass. My quads are on the mat here, I'm just pressing up. Press into tabletop. Toes curl under, down dog. Pigeon on the right side, right knee drives towards your right wrist, toes towards your left wrist. Shin is trying to get as parallel to the top of the mat as possible. I personally, when I'm in my pigeon pose, I take a little time to set up before I fold. I'm thinking actively pulling my right hip back, left hip pushing forward, and a little trick to keep that heel from sliding towards the hip if you need to get a little deeper. I place my left forearm along my foot to kind of keep it in place. And I just start to fold. If you are someone where this is an uncomfortable position, we're going for an outer hip stretch. So you can turn this into a 90-90 where both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. We can press down from here. I'm gonna be here for four to five more breaths. We're gonna back out of it, making our way into down dog. So hands are gonna come in underneath your shoulders. Back toe curls under. Press that knee up, slide that right foot back, down dog. Left side pigeon, left knee drives towards that left wrist. Back toe uncurls. Take a few moments. My left hip is much easier for me to get into than my right. Just is what it is. We'll be here for about eight to 10 breaths, if not a little longer. Still thinking, pulling that left hip back, pushing that right hip forward, trying to keep my shin parallel. That's how I get deeper into this posture. Turn this into a 90-90 variation if you need to, or even figure four on your back. We're going to be making our way there anyway to just help open up those hips a little bit more for this twisted pigeon or twisted baby grasshopper. Remember to just find your breath here. Notice it. Staying here for two more breaths. And when I'm ready, I'm just gonna set my left hip down, spin my right leg around. I'm gonna face the screen so it's a little easier. We're gonna go butterfly first. 
So feet are in towards your inner hips. Hands can be on your feet, they can be on your shins. Hands are wherever it's comfortable for you. Wiggle around till you feel your butt bone press down. Big lift up through your chest, exhale, fold forward. We're thinking I'm bringing my gaze down and forward in front of me versus down towards my toes. So I don't wanna bring my, my gaze towards my toes or my heels. So I'll curl my spine that doesn't feel super good on my neck. By keeping my gaze slowly going down a little further, I'm looking essentially at where my hand is right now. I'm keeping my upper back from rounding. And give me one moment, my dog is barking again. Make sure no one's coming up to the house. From butterfly, we are moving into cobbler. So you're gonna sit up. Y'all's gonna bump out. We're going almost like two feet of space between that inner hip to heel. Wiggle your bum. Big lift up through your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Hands land wherever it's comfortable. You can keep your hands on your shin on your feet, you can start to reach forward. You're gonna be here for about eight breaths. She's still barking, there's a delivery guy for our neighbor. On your inhale, we're gonna come up. I'm gonna spin around. We're gonna go four forward fold. Feet are together here. This is a place where I can tell my yard slopes. I have one cheek a little higher than the other. You wanna wiggle around until you feel your butt bone or hips bones press down. This is that big lift up to your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Hands land wherever it's comfortable for you. So you might be here and getting enough of a stretch in those hamstrings. We're going hamstrings and low back here. You think about flexing your toes towards your face, you're gonna get a little bit of calf too. Eight breaths here. When I'm ready, I'm gonna come up. And bring that right foot around to the outside of my right hip. So if you have some ankle mobility issues, this is a place where that block, bolster, towel, just elevating your hips is gonna help get a little bit deeper into the posture. Not a little less achiness on the ankle. So right foot's coming around. I'm gonna try and keep my knees together as I lean back. Come down my forearms here because I don't want to completely relax. Another four to five more breaths. I'm gonna back out of this pose. 
hands down up to seated posture. I'm going to bring that right foot to settle on top of my left thigh. So it looks a little funky. That's fine. It's meant to look a little funky. And it's going to be a lift up through the chest. And we're just going to fold forward a little. It's going to go a little bit into that hip. If you're not, if it's not comfortable at all, just bring that right foot to the inner side of your right thigh and fold forward. This to me just gives me a little bit more hip action, which is what I'm, what I'm wanting personally today. And for the sake of our practice and getting into baby grasshopper, having a little bit more openness through your hips certainly is helpful. Just a few breaths here. And I'm going to pivot so you can see me a little better. So we're going to start setting up for baby grasshopper. That right foot is going to make a touchdown on the outside of my left leg. It is very close to my knee here. I'm going to inhale, lift up, getting nice and tall on my exhale. I'm going to close my twist off. Allowing that right hand to come down behind me to help lift up as I twist. unwind. This is where baby grasshopper is coming in. This is where we've done all of our prep to get into this posture. So it's going to take a little bit more talking through. My suggestion is make sure you got a little bit of space here. I'm getting to the very edge of my mat. My left hip is essentially going to come down to the mat. I'm sitting on the outside of my left hip. My left hand is coming diagonally from my hip, planting nice and strong a thorn in it. Awesome. My right foot is planted firmly on the ground here. So this is our setup. That right hand is gonna come in front of your left shin and we're gonna reach for the bottom of our left foot. Boom, we got set up here. From here, weight shifts forward so your hips can hover Weight is in your left hand and in your right foot. And come back down. That left foot is actively pressing into your right hand to help provide tension here. So when you want to play with that, think, all right, right foot is secure, left foot is, left hand is secure. Right hand, left foot. I'm gonna press into my right hand with my left foot, and then shift. Bear with me one more moment. Got to make sure there's no delivery driver coming up for our dog. Or so our dog doesn't freak out and try and go through the glass door at him. When you're done, we're just going to crisscross those legs, kind of butterfly those legs out a little bit. Baby grasshopper it looks very complicated but once you find your tilting and your pivot point i promise you it's a lot easier than it looks so we got to do that same setup to get ready for that left side so when you're ready to move that left foot is going to come to the outside of that left hip we're going to lean back we're trying to get into that quad here We're going to be here for about eight breaths. hands. I'm going to go for that stretch where that left foot comes around. It's going to sit on top of my right thigh. 
I'm going to wiggle around, feel my butt bone press down, and I'm going to fold forward here. I'm thinking about pushing my left knee a little bit more down to the ground just to get a little deeper into my hip. The pressure of my ankle on my quad is a pleasant-ish. Feels like I'm inadvertently foam rolling my quad out. And allow that left foot to slide down to the outside of my right knee thigh area. Big lift up through my chest. We're going to close off the twist. So we're twisting the chest towards your thigh here. My right arm is hooking my left knee. Left hand comes behind. Lift up and twist. Now we're gonna untwist and set up for baby grasshopper on this left side. So, left foot completely down on the mat. My right hip is on the mat. So I'm on that outer portion. If you can see, all right, cause I might be a little washed out. My toes are pointing forward. So it's pointing towards the camera. My toes are not pointing up. That means I'm too far onto my butt. You wanna be much more hip versus butt here. I'm making a diagonal line from my hip to my right hand. So I'm here. That left hand is gonna grab on to the bottom of my right foot and my weight is gonna shift forward to come onto my left foot and my right hand. It's like a really weird game of twister. Boom. Baby grasshopper. And take a few more moments to play with that. I just did that practice to make sure I could do it before I taught it. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna untwist, come all the way laying onto your back. I'm not gonna be demoing this part. I'm just gonna talk through it just because the little, all the twisting and moving while I'm doing this practice is hard for me to talk directly to the camera or directly to my laptop in this case. I want you to come to laying on your back. Bring those knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug here. And rock back and forth, side to side, up and down your spine, rocking back and forth on your hips. Make your way into happy baby if that feels right for you today. Meaning those knees are gonna pull in towards your armpits. Feet can grab onto your ankles, outside edges of your feet, inside edges of your seat, feet. Peace sign fingers can loop your big toes. Whatever feels more comfortable. Happy baby should not be a posture where you're feeling a lot of pain. You don't want babies to feel pain, so in this posture, I don't want you to feel pain. You should feel a little bit of a stretch, maybe a little bit of a release. And when you're ready, you should come to fully laying on your back. Now, I do this in the restorative practice, and I do this on occasion with our practice this way. On your inhale, I want you to tighten everything up. Inhale, clench your fists, shrug those shoulders up to yours, get super, super tight on your exhale, release. Still laying on your back here. Inhale, tense everything up, point those toes, fur your brow, clench your jaw if you have to. And on your exhale, release. On this next inhale, we're clenching everything, we're getting tight, we're squeezing everything together, getting as tight as we possibly can. And on your exhale, sigh everything out through your mouth. <sighs> and give yourself a moment to settle. Allow your breathing to even out. Unhurried. There's no force in this breathing pattern, just gentle control, just gentle breathing. Allow it to happen. Allow your shoulders to settle onto your mat. 
your feet kind of splay to the side. And just breathe. And that was a squirrel that just ran through my trees. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if you're feeling a little more twisty, a little more loosey-goosey. This might have been the only time. This is just a fun little way to kind of introduce some new things into your practice. If you have a yoga practice, if you're just here to move, like most of us probably are, that's fine. This is just something kind of fun to play with. We will progress into playing with crow pose. My crow is not amazing. It's all right. I slip a lot. So we'll kind of, we'll talk through crow pose in the next class. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Stay here as long as you need to. Allow yourself to kind of chill and be open and relaxed as long as you need to. If you're ready to move, wiggle fingers, wiggle your toes, take a full body stretch like you're waking up from a really good nap. And I'm going to close class how I close any physical practice that I do and have started doing on all of our digital platforms. You can bring your hands together. You get, come to my forehead for kind thoughts, my mouth for kind words, and my heart for good intentions. Thank you for letting me guide your practice today. I'll see you Friday. I'm going to come up to the computer so I can end the live stream.